I want to tell y'all a story behind this song that I just have not told before. And I want to tell y'all this right now. When I made this song right here, prior to this song and the making of this album right here, I was in a cloudy, like dark place, right? Meaning like I was doing shit. I had talent. I had belief in myself. I had motion. But at the same time, I also had fear. I had fear that maybe I wouldn't get to where I wanted to go. And so that fear had me moving in an unusual way, right? It had me moving in a way that I damn near was thinking about and listening to people's expectations of me and then responding off of that, right? And around the time I made this song, I had just more of a spiritual alignment. I got more in tune with God, like for the great, for the, for the first time in my life and the most clearest time in my life, I got in tune. And it was not a switch. It's not just a switch that I clicked, but it, it did take work. And a song like this is the result of that work. Only because I was so clear when I was making this song and making this album was I able to do this. Now, why am I saying all of that? Because all of the goofy type shit that I look back on that I was doing before that, luckily, I look at the last 10 years of my life and I go, damn, like, my life been peaceful. My life been blessed. I've been, I've been happy. I've been... I've been moving on my own accord, off my own desires, my own wants. Now, why am I saying all of that? All of that shit led me up until this point, 10 years later after this song, I'm here, here I am. I've been, I've been just chasing my shit, you know what I mean? Like, like following my dream and just trying to like head to the fall off in a way that I wanted to do it. And so I put out this project on Friday called Mike Delete Later. I don't know how many people done checked it out or whatever, but I put this project out. And I swear to God, I'm so proud of that project because I know one, it's just a lead up. It's just an EP that leads me up to this thing that I've been working on for a long time. And I know the work it took to get to a certain type of skill level and I love this shit. So I, that shit mean a lot to me, right? So I'm so proud of that project, except for one part. It's one part of that shit that make me feel like, man, that's the lamest shit I ever did in my fucking life, right? And I know this is not what a lot of people want to hear. I know I can hear my niggas up there right now like, nah, nah, I don't do that. But I got to keep it 100 with y'all, right? I damn near had a relapse, right? Because y'all heard some shit that happened two, two, three weeks ago, however long it was. Y'all heard that bazooka that was dropped on the motherfucking game, right? So all of this time of me moving on my own accord, for the first time I was tested. Why am I tested? Because I got the world, and I got my niggas like, what you going to do, Cole? <laughs> my niggas like, bit boy, I must have had a thousand missed calls. Oh, my fucking God. Text flooded. I couldn't even answer my shit. Nigga, it's wartime. Boom, 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 right? <laughs> niggas want to see blood. And, and I was conflicted because, one, I know my heart. You know what I mean? And, like, I know how I feel about my peers, these two niggas that I've just been blessed to even stand beside in this game, let alone chase, chase their greatness, right? So I felt conflicted because I'm like, bro, I know I don't really feel no way, but the world want to see blood. I don't know if y'all can feel that, but the world want to see blood. So I say all of that to say, in my spirit of trying to like get this music out, I ain't going to lie to y'all, I moved in a way that was that I feel spiritually feel bad on me. Like, like I try to like jab my nigga back and I try to keep it friendly. But at the end of the day, when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this nigga's fucking uh, catalog and his greatness. I want to say right now tonight, how many people think Kendrick Lamar is one of the greatest motherfuckers to ever touch a fucking microphone? Dreamville, y'all love Kendrick Lamar, correct? As do I. So, I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like, goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say, it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. And I pray that God aligned me back up on my purpose and on my path. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga, I got my chin out. Take your best shot. I'm going to take that shit on the chin, boy. Do what you do. 
You know what I mean? Like, all good. Like, it's, it's love. And I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like, forgive a nigga for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path because I ain't going to lie to y'all. The past two days felt terrible. Like, it let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. So all of that to say, man, I want to I wanna now perform the song that's a reminder to me of getting back on the right path and getting in tune with God. And the name of the song is called Love Yours. I want to do that for y'all right now. Thank you. Let's go. Turn that shit up. Thank you. Y'all put your cell phones in the sky. We gonna light this shit up. Yo, E, we taking that song off of fucking streaming services, nigga. My niggas is gonna have to deal with it. Uh, love yours. 